Nick, your guys uh, had two plays that were uh, among the biggest plays of the game with Deshaun Elliott and, and Brandon Jones. Uh, tell me about Brandon Jones and, and the season that, that he's had and kind of what you saw in, in his play. Yeah, I think the season, in a weird way, has worked out very well for Brandon. You know, as you guys know, he's missed all of the offseason, missed all of training camp. Um, got to play in the fourth game of the year, had, got thrust into action. Wasn't really ready for it. Okay, Him and I talked about that. Then he got to play a few more weeks later in a game. One of the starters was out. Then, and then has now had this long stretch here. I don't, I don't know, you guys, three or four in a row where he's had to play full time. So in a different way, it's worked out great for him. And he's playing much, much better now. Nick, you've played your your defense has faced its fair share of mobile quarterbacks, but with Lamar Jackson, what what kind of differentiates him from? Yeah, he's fair share of mobile quarterbacks. Yes, then there's Lamar Jackson. You know, he's unlike anybody else. The only other player that's been like him in the last fifty years is Michael Vick, and um, he he's a tremendous player. You know, kudos to uh, Ozzie and Eric for picking them, you know, 31 other teams that passed him by, you know, are kicking themselves. He's really improved over the years. He's dynamic with the ball, good passer. You know, he makes their offense go. Big, the, the, this team has set a franchise record for sacks. Uh, Two-part question, what's worked so well in, in the pass rushing department and has the sack production exceeded your expectations? Um. I just think <coughs> we do a good job of rushing as a unit and playing good team defense. Um, changing up coverages helps, buys the guy another second or two to get there. I think it's all 11 guys playing together and the guys rushing, rushing as a unit, not as individuals. And to think we'd set a record, you know, for this franchise after 15 games, you know, I, I really didn't expect that. but. I really don't think along those lines either. Records. Uh, with Lamar, what's your willingness to uh, put a spy on him? Do you need to give him different looks? Yeah, yeah. I mean, <clears throat> the pure definition of a great quarterback, there's no one way to play him. You know, because if there was, everybody would do it. So you just have to mix up what you're doing. And, um, you know, and along the way, they have a hell of a run game. And um, both from their players' ability, the O-line, tight ends, and runners. But the scheme of it with uh, Lamar at the helm makes it a difficult task. So there's a lot to prepare for, a lot to defend in this offense. In what ways has David Long improved from week one to week 17? Yeah, I, I think he has. He's just incrementally gotten a little bit better each week in the small details. A lot was made about the shadow or not shadow decision with the, in the Cowboys game. You guys didn't shadow CD Lamb, um, and he got off to a hot start, but then kind of cooled down. What, what stood out to you or maybe what changes, what changed in the final three quarters of the game? Um, yeah, we kind of changed the way we were playing him. But, you know, he was in, he's primarily for, in that game was in the slot. So, um, you know, he's a hard guy to match then with one guy. Any feelings remain toward John Harbaugh and the Ravens after the way the last meeting between you and them? No, I mean, what happened there was they ran a play at the end of the game instead of taking a knee to get an extra four or five yards rushing. And um, our players were all upset about it. And the way the timing worked on Mondays after our games, I would meet with the media before any player would, then I'd have a team meeting. and So I took the hit. I said something publicly, and I told the players that so they would let it go to bed, and they never said anything. So it was one to just finish the story without our players getting involved. I could care less if they run another play. Big guy, can you tell me what you've seen from your backups this season, um, guys such as Van Ginkle and Duke Riley and Eli Apple and Elijah Campbell and Brandon Jones, that, when they've been called upon? 
Yeah, I think they've all, to various degrees, have played well, you know, when called upon, and especially after they've had chances to prepare for the playing time instead of just getting thrown in there in the middle of a game or at the end of a game with not much work, not only for that week, but previous weeks. So I think they've all done great. You know, I don't never looked at Van Ginkle as a backup anyway. Um, who are the other guys you talked about? And we talked about Brandon already. Um, yeah, Duke. You know, I'm not surprised that Duke has played well. How did, uh, how, I'm sorry, how did Melvin Ingram look filling in for Ogba last week? Do you think? Yeah, not bad. You know, if considering the circumstances, only been here a little bit, hadn't played any ball since last season. Um, I think Melvin's an instinctive player. Football comes natural to him, but he hadn't played. And um, I think, you know, the more he gets in the football shape, the better he can play. Coach, the Ravens have added a bunch of eligibles the last few years to help Lamar on the offense. How have you seen the offense evolve with getting guys like Zay Flowers and Isaiah Likely, Odell Beckham? So, what's the question? How, how has the offense evolved from Tree getting those big-time playmakers? Um, you know, the offense has changed a little bit, you know, from last year. They've had change in the coordinator. Um, they kept the same running game, basically, and – you know, they're throwing the ball a little differently now. And they've got, you know, the best group of receivers that they've had there in a long time. Nick, just out of curiosity, do you, do you get to know players' names or numbers? I, I was going to ask you about Zay Flowers. I didn't know if I should say number four or Zay Flowers. <laughs> Both. Both. You know, there's some weeks it's just a number, and some weeks I know the guy's name totally. That's why I always come in here with a flip card. I know you have a flip card, yeah. <laughs>